we have yeah we have seen this before still you know to be honest I'm still a little unsure as to exactly what's going on here obviously he wants to take over Dialog's body and he does we don't know that much about Thanatos we know that he is some kind of spirit that takes over bodies every once in a while but outside of that we don't really know outside of him getting wanting power we don't really know why he revived the mana fortress and that's that's usually what I mean when I say that we don't have a, a good villain in this game. We don't we don't have a concrete person that we can look at and say this is the guy that I'm fighting against. And to me that is a big motivation for, for RPGs. Uh, I want to save the world. That should be enough for me but a lot of times it's not. I, I want to be better than someone. It's not good enough that I should succeed. Others must fail. You know what I mean? Yeah, he doesn't have his own bodies. He feeds on hatred and destruction. So maybe he's trying to make the, the Mana Fortress come out so that there will be more hatred and destruction so that he'll feed more. I mean, this is all speculation because they don't really spell it out for you, which is kind of sad. All right, so max level. Full on magic, ready to go. Uh, let's go with Earth Slide. It doesn't really matter what we do, and it still doesn't even do max damage on. Him. And unfortunately, with the fully leveled up magic, the this special secondary kind of magic. It is very, very difficult to chain. I have not figured out a way to chain, to be honest with you. But you can always hit him with magic, even when he's invisible in this fight, which I didn't even get a chance to show off before because I spammed him so damn hard. It is actually tougher to spam magic when you have it maxed out. Which me Oh. Fine then. Knock you onto your unconscious. I was about to heal too. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, we're not doing very much damage. You need to, to charge your attack normally for this guy. But can we do burst? Can we do can we do multiple bursts in a row? I can. There we go. Oh, see, no, the first time it didn't do the, the way... It didn't do the, the, the powered up one, that's why. But, I mean, at the end of the day... Leveling up in this game... It's something that everybody that I know of that, that plays these kinds of games, that plays RPGs, is what they talk about. You talk about getting to the max level after beating the game you know now all of a sudden beating the game's not good enough for you, you want to get max level and th this game really the only purpose of grinding in this game is to say that you did it. it there's there's no super boss for you to take on it doesn't even feel like you're completely overpowered now as opposed to other times down he goes but to be honest I had just as easy a time last time with him as long as I leveled up my magic decently, you know, you could do it at level 5. I think I was up to level 7. And now the magi mana magic is gone because we killed this, I don't know, mana blocking boss, I guess. Uh, to be honest, a lot of this endgame is confusing to me. Um, I've spent so much time trying to get to this point that uh, I might be a little bit over anxious when I do get here and I don't pay attention as much as I should but it does feel like the game is incredibly vague at this point. I, yeah I don't know. So our whole purpose of going through here from the very beginning right Jake pretty much started all this. He he grabbed the sword out of the stone. 
No, I need to switch him over to the sword, actually. He grabbed the sword out of the stone. Which pretty much caused all this to happen. Forgot which way. I had to go for a second there. Which caused all this to happen, so pretty much he's correcting his in mistake the entire time. We're out to restore our mana, and in the end, we we don't do it. Um, it's implied that there is still something left, but definitely we we didn't save the world that we intended, how we intended to save it. And to me, that that, that makes it feel a little unfulfilled. You know what I mean? Yeah, I won't see you again. And, and we lose Yonzi because of all of this. We, we lose one of our party members because of how we beat the final boss. And the final boss looks like our airship. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not flammy. Right? The Mana Beast is not flammy. But it looks like it. They call it flammy. <laughs> it looks like an adult flammy. He's like, no, it's a flammy. <laughs> You know what I mean? Okay. So now we're up against this this boss again. And once again, uh, the only way to damage it is through Mana Sword, uh, which I do have up to level 8 now. So that I can fully... What the hell was that? Chocolate. <laughs> it looked so weird. <laughs> Alright. Mana Magic. Would have loved to have that so I could do grinding on that instead of the... Uh, Triad. What the hell's wrong with me? Okay, there we go. Mana Magic. Would have loved to have that instead of the other stuff, which costs like four or, or so MP. Uh, yes, you do need both Mana Magics active in order to revive the Mana Sword. Otherwise, it doesn't revive. God, what the hell, game? Um, I, I feel like I've been pretty harsh on this game um, in, in the finales. But I, I feel like everything that I've said is pretty justifiable and, and true. I, you know, I do find this fight annoying pretty much because you have so little time in which you can actually attack your opponent. All this time seems wasted to me. It, it feels like even though the game is... Wow, that does nothing. When can I hit him? When can I hit him? There we go. 548. Even ma maxed out. That That is insane. And he cast a wall on himself? As if we're going to go for magic on him? I, I don't think magic does any damage to him. As far as I remember, you just have to hit him with the mana sword. And you're still only doing 500 damage to him at any given time. And of course he's still gonna spam Lucent Beam on the guy that can that can actually attack him. Of course he is. So even though this game is technically an action RPG, I feel like it forces turns on you with its style. And I'm not sure if I like that or not. Um, I of course like turn-based RPGs, but when you kind of promise action and then magic faded of course forgot to cast this again he should be fully charged by the time that the guy gets here though did nobody else get hit uh, he's not gonna be fully charged in time damn it feels like it, it forces turns on you which isn't necessarily how I think they had intended. I don't know. I don't know how they intended, of course. I can't read their minds, but it feels a little off to me. Uh, the battle system. There we go. And once again, we're only doing just above 500, which means at the end of the day, it's still going to take me 20 hits to kill this guy. Did I not hit him? Did I not hit him? Okay. Mana magic. No, I did hit him for another 548. Looks like it doesn't matter how high... 
I can't. Yes, thank you. I need. I wanted to heal. Is that asking so much? Heal. Nope. Not you. You. Mana magic. It feels like the the game isn't. I don't want to say well designed because it is well designed, but the battle system does feel off to me, and I think one of the main reasons for that is because of the waiting system in the action RPG. I don't. I can't think of another game outside, literally, of this series and of a knockoff, Secret of Evermore, that uses this system. Uh, most other RPGs, action RPGs that I know of, you know, you can spam attack if you want, or you can do more damage uh, by holding it down. You know, that works that way in Zelda, works that way in Crystallis and, and Soul Blazer, from what I remember. I have a vague memory of Soul Blazer, to be honest with you. But I, I can't think of another one that uses this system where it's charge and and pretty much if you if you don't charge not only charge up the attack but if, if you attack before it's necessarily your turn even though they don't phrase it that way then you pretty much don't do any damage you know if I attack when I'm less than a hundred percent I may be only doing a tenth maybe of my normal damage I could be at 95% when I attack. I still will only do maybe a tenth of my normal damage. It it, it feels like it's still a turn-based system. And when you add that with how magic can, can pretty much pause your attack, everything can cancel your attack. Hey, I got I got a full 9999 there. Well, just three nines. But you know what I mean. I got a max damage. <laughs> That's always nice. And... How far? Damn it. I'm trying. I'm trying. No. Did I hit him? I didn't hit him. I didn't hit him because he was hitting me with the magic at the time. And that, that proves my point even more. You know what I mean? And... To be honest, I, I believe that I'm a little bit harsh on this game because of... I feel like I'm responding to a lot of reviews that I have seen of this game. I have seen people hold this game on the same pedestal as Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger. As, you know, the untouchable, perfect RPGs on the Super Nintendo. And... Although, I will accept that for Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI. I have to say that those two are on a completely different level than this game. I don't, I don't think it, it's even fair to, to put them on the same pedestal that way. I don't think it's close. So that's probably why I'm harsh on it. I mean, it is a good game. It's fun. I enjoyed playing this game. Um... I don't know if I enjoyed that that end of game level grind for everything, but I could say that about a ton of games, and and I don't think that takes away from the experience because there is very little point to it in this game, as you can clearly see, and that's what I mean to show here is that there really isn't a a way to completely overpower yourself in this game. At the end of it, this is taking me roughly just as long as it did before, even though I am, you know, arguably 40 levels too high. I have my sword leveled up all the way, even though arguably I could do this at level 3 or 4, you know, instead of level 8 for, for the weapons and the magic. Of course, since they take those away, and that was really what what this game focused on for your main damage dealer and they take it away for the final boss fight which is another reason that I, I don't like this boss fight it's that they pretty much forced you to have a set damage dealer with the magic and then they take it away at the very last fight it feel although I usually like the way that some games take away stuff like that you're taking away what has been my main 
my main point of damage throughout the entire game. I mean, pretty much once we got magic for boss fights, that is what I used in those boss fights. Magic, magic, magic. Because in this game, it is ridiculously overpowered compared to regular attacks. Well, if you just want a quick hit, absolutely your your physical attack is the best chance for that. But if you want to deal huge amounts of damage and you don't want to get hit, really it's all about the the magic. There, there's no way to put it. I'm kind of curious here. Because I swear I did just about as much damage with a level 2 as I did with a level 8. So let's try level 2 again. I did do just as much damage with a level 2 as I did with a level 8. Are you kidding me? So at the end of all this... At the end of all that... I never knew that. Okay, so I heard a rumor, and it was unconfirmed, and I heard a lot of people argue against it, but now I'm thinking that is true. That in this game, the Mana Sword's power is derived from your weapon levels on everything else, and not your charge or the weapon level. Uh, wow. Okay, so I think I have I, I've said everything that I, that I wanted to say about this game. It is a good game! <laughs> I know I criticize it up and down, but it is a good game! But that's going to do it for these bonus parts of Let's Play Secret of Mana. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my champions, Jake, Shion, and the missing Yonsei. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you've enjoyed the Let's Play. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.